you can find many voices talking about Muslims. Who are they? Where are they? What do they think? What do they care about? The 30 days of prayer for the Muslim world is an annual event that connects Christians with stories and information for prayer from people who live and work in Muslim communities around the world. The prayer guide enables you to pray informed prayers for real needs with true insight into the lives of Muslim people so that as you pray you learn about their diverse cultures, beliefs and practices while asking God to bring His light and love to them. 30 Days of Prayer has been producing prayer guides for Christians to use during the 30 days of Ramadan for over 25 years with content for adults and children. Join over a million other believers this year in over 30 languages to hear God's voice in prayer for the Muslim world. Hey there and welcome to Church News this week. If you want to take part in the 30 days of prayer for the Muslim world, you can grab a booklet at the end of the service. C3 College starts again this Tuesday with the next module which covers knowing and remembering your identity in Christ. On Monday the 13th of May there will be an information night for the upcoming missions trip to Papua New Guinea. The One Heart Women's Conference is coming up on the 24th to 25th of May. This is for women from all over Tauranga to spend some time away with God to be encouraged, inspired, and be refreshed. The Coast Camp is happening on the 10th to the 12th of May at the Pacific Park Holiday Camp in Papamoa. It's gonna be an awesome time and fun for the whole family. Grab a flyer and register at the info desk today. If you wanna be baptized in water, we'll just find out more. We have a water baptism class before the evening service on Sunday. On Wednesday the 22nd of May, we have a combined service with Dr. Michael Maiden. This guy brings a prophetic edge to his preaching and it's a night that you don't want to miss. Tonight we have guest speaker Rob Wall coming to minister to us at our Taranga location. Rob is known for communicating the gospel in creative and relevant ways that bring the Bible to life. And that's, that's it, it for Church, church news, news this week. week. If you want to find out more information, go to the info desk or church website. Hey. Hey. You got big plans for Mother's Day? No. Hmm? I forgot Mother's Day. Oh gosh, I didn't say anything to my wife this morning on the way to church or nothing. She was acting all fine, but you know what that means. You know what that means. Oh, mama. Oh, my mom. Mama. Oh, I didn't call my mom. I didn't call my mom. I always call her before church on Mother's Day. That sweet woman. 26 hours of hard labor followed by an 11 pound, two ounce baby boy with a pumpkin head. And I didn't call her today. Oh, she probably doesn't think I'm alive. <laughs> no, no, dude. Hey, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Mother's Day is next week. Oh, yeah. So I've got till Saturday night. <laughs>